I guess, Keelan, I suppose the most significant uh, development is the new footage, uh, the CCTV footage. And uh, this was first released at the Crime Stoppers um, appeal on the 7th of April last. And that was the first time I came into the public arena. OK, now we have the footage. We're going to take another look at this footage. Maybe you can talk us through it. Because it, this had never been seen before. I mean, before it was uh, upgraded, it was from old VHS footage. What am I looking for here? What should we be looking yeah, for? You're looking there at the pillar in the centre of the footage. And you see the, a male, um, he approaches the pillar there. And for a, a period of about 34 minutes, this male lingers in around that pillar and would be very suspicious. And that's three o'clock in the morning and it's raining. It's raining, uh, it's a very stormy night. Okay, now, now little... you can see him there. You can see Trevor coming into footage there. Uh, he's on his mobile phone. He's actually speaking to a colleague inside in the bank center. Okay, now, so now at this point we, we the, move to a different yes, angle. The male is also seen uh, moving uh, into, into the next, uh, next camera footage. Um, you can see here on the right hand side, this is the male that we'd seen earlier. So he's actually overtaken Trevor. Trevor is still on the phone, obviously finishing off his phone call. Okay. And, uh, Trevor then comes into shot here. He starts to open the, the gate. This male is seen in a, having a brief conversation with Trevor. And I mean, you'd have to say that it doesn't look like there's no aggression, there's no antipathy there. It's just a very kind of casual conversation. Absolutely, that would seem to be the case. Now, so Trevor, Trevor lets himself into the bank. Yes, Trevor lets himself in, closes the gate behind him. And the male is still there. Yes, the, he's still there. So Trevor spends um, approximately 54 minutes inside in the uh, The bank. bank he worked in. Yes, he had a cup of coffee. Um, he collected his umbrella. Here he closes the gate behind him. So he's in, he's in, he goes into his office for about half an hour. Now there's no sign of the, the other male no, at this point. No, he's moved at this stage. Trevor actually there, you can see him leaving the umbrella against the, the wall. He zips up his jacket. And now you can see him putting up the umbrella. Okay, so again, it's, it's, a, it's a nasty night that. It is so indeed. we move then to... Um, it, the final piece of footage, now this is footage we had previously uh, yes. seen of, of Trevor walking that's, along with. That's correct, but this is the footage from Haddington Road, that's Trevor there with the ACC umbrella. And you can see the rain there uh, hitting off the footpath. 34 uh, seconds after Trevor uh, goes uh, viewed, we see this male again. Um, now, are you definite that is the same male who was seen outside the bank talking to Trevor? No, Keelan, we cannot definitely say that this was the same male, but uh, it would have the same appearance as, as the, the male in the earlier footage. Now, I suppose, Peter, you'd have to say there was a lot of publicity around the time of Trevor's disappearance. That male, it's very likely he would have known that he had been speaking to Trevor Dealey that night. So what are you appealing to the public for now? Well, I'd like to appeal to the public, I suppose, first of all, if that male is actually watching that footage that he would actually approach us and make contact with us. We'd look Again, maybe the passage of time, things have changed. Absolutely, or... and we don't know what his interactions were with Trevor, so we would actually be very anxious to speak to that, that male. We would also be very anxious to talk to anybody that may have any knowledge of males who would have frequented that area at the time and um, would be in a position to maybe nominate people that would have, have uh, been in around that area. Or, or could know him, could identify him. Or could him identify him, him. absolutely. Now, the, the other development here is there is a very significant reward has been offered at this point for any information leading to a breakthrough in this. That's correct. It's a reward of €100,000 for information that would significantly uh, progress this investigation. And that's a very significant reward. OK, well, Peter, thank you very much indeed for coming into us with that. And if you do have any information to help explain what happened to Trevor Dealey, do get in touch. The number is on your screen now. So tonight, so far, we have been asking for your help to solve an aggravated burglary in Limerick in which a man...